short video on starting your heater and noticing that uh, one of the burners might not be coming on or let's just say you hear gas but the flames don't uh, produce. Uh, if you have this type, this is only for this type of model or this uh, these type of burners right here. Uh, so if you uh, notice that, one, what I usually find is after I take them out, and you always want to keep these in order. Don't mix them up. This was the center one. Never mix those up. Sometimes that causes problem. One way to uh, it could be a problem is these are called crossover uh, crossovers right here. And what happens is when the main gas uh, burner lights, a little bit of a flame will travel through here and cross over to light the other ones. And see, they all have these little crossover lines. So if you notice one lighting and not the other, that could be one problem. So usually what I do is I just go ahead and take these out, and clean them off, make sure that they're not smashed. Sometimes these will warp and they'll be closed smash. And so then it can't. Now I see this is intentionally closed smash because it's not supposed to cross over that direction because it only needs to light these over here and so this side here look see how that's closed so that's one way to let you know not to mix them up and also usually the dirty side is the uh, side that goes on top in case you flipped it up uh, by accident you could tell this is the shinier side because that side always faces down a couple little things to note there now let's say all that looks good next thing you want to check and you can get like a little pocket mirror and you want to shine that mirror so you can look inside the orifice because you can't really get your head in there and look so you get like a little mirror and you look so you take a flashlight usually what you'll see is like a little bit of a, a white well it should look clear and black like a little it's a little tiny hole you know and when you look through the little hole it should look black like that okay inside this little hole uh, but what, is, what you might see if you have a flashlight you'll see like a little bit of like a, what looks like a cobweb uh, which is what it is it'll just be a little it'll be white and it might look like a little piece of cotton fuzz or something like that. And what happens is spiders like to make a nest in there, or I don't know what you call it, just to build something in there and uh, make that their home or for uh, um, procreating. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, so what I do is I'll take this little, make a little piece of a wire, with, and you can see here it has like a little hook sharp on there. you got to find out what how thick you can make the wire because you want it to fit in the hole and then what I do is I swirl it around as I take it out and believe it or not you'll pull out that big cobweb sometimes you'll even pull out a spider I've had spiders come out of there after I remove their web uh, so that's how you would do it you would just stick this right inside the little hole get it in there sometimes if you if it's wires too thick you might have to go with a different size as long as you got a, like a little hook on the end, you twirl it around, it'll capture that. Uh, and, uh, and you see how I got it kind of mangled at the end? Because I want it to be a little mangled. So that way when I'm twirling it, it's just grabbing all the cobweb out of there to take it out. So that's one way to uh, fix a heater that might only have one or, uh, burner uh, uh, not coming on or you just have none of them come on and that's what you'd have to inspect.